Our first guest is an Emmy and Tony nominated actor who you know from Atlanta and Bullet Train. He's now getting Oscar buzz for his new movie, Cosway. Please welcome Brian Tyree Henry. So uh, let me get this right. I'm getting really excited about this. Okay. You were in Godzilla versus Kong. Yes. Now let me tell you why this excites me so because <laughs> King Kong was my first love when I was little. What do you mean? Do you hold the line? I'm sorry. Oh, Did oh. they put him up on the side? Oh my God, that oh my. is the love of okay, my life. Okay, I can life. see a little bit, the jawline. Y'all, I love me some King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> and when I was a little kid, <laughs> they used to find me kissing the TV screen. So King Kong was my first kiss. <laughs> to this day, I call my car King Kong, and I got a paint of King Kong behind the car, okay? That's how much I love King Kong. You know? And then, let's see, I'm having King Kong on me. Hold the okay, line. Y'all put, this right. is my oh. man. <laughs> Ask me who my celebrity crush is. And it's King Kong. King Kong. Okay. <laughs> All right. He is handsome, though. I He's love handsome. him to this day. And I took the, the bait, all the kids, my son and all his um, cousins to go see the King Kong, the last one? Godzilla versus Godzilla Kong. Godzilla versus Kong. Uh -huh. When I tell you I beat them children holler anytime King Kong popped up on that screen. What are and you I... confessing right now, Listen, Jay? I'm sorry. <laughs> but this, y'all just put he the is, man I mean, he's him. rugged. He's rugged. He's look like he's got stars on his chest. My heart is beating. You like a bad boy. That's My what heart it is, is beating <laughs> right now. <laughs> them kids is like, Okay. Who knew? Thank God nobody else was in there because I hollered. No, uh, it was it was cool. The only thing is we, we shot it in Australia, mm -hmm. and I don't know if y'all know this, but everything in Australia can kill you. Uh, and, and yes. <laughs> and so I'm not trying to say I was the only black person in the movie, and I was like, let me tell you something really quick. If I see a spider, I'm out. I'm like, the same I, way. <laughs> I was like, Jay. Like, and over there, their spiders are the size of the table. They serious. They're serious. You, yeah, I'm terrified the, I, of spiders. And, and there, and, uh, oh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Tell me, why y'all do Take that? Take it off the screen. I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. <laughs> I, I'm with you. Y'all play too much. Okay, okay. Y'all, why would y'all do that? That's so okay, mean. Okay, I, I know why spiders scare me so much, but y'all take that up too. Okay, <laughs> I am not playing. Not. Listen, why would they do that? Y'all are terrible. See, y'all didn't tell me. Y was no, they didn't tell me. Now, now I'm like, oh, then, so hold on. So you terrified gotta... of spiders too? See, now you didn't. <laughs> okay. <right>. Okay. <laughs> Did you see anything else other than spiders? Uh, yes. Uh, their bats are insanely big. So their bats. Think of like your smallest LED television and put that on wings, and that's how big their bats are. And they just fly around, like, you know, like 5.30 at night, how our birds come out, their bats just fly right by. Were like, they out, like, while you were shooting? Yeah, they're out. The bats run Australia. Oh, <laughs> they, my God. They, yeah. And did you, did you see any spiders while you were? Yes, there were, well, I didn't see any because I literally froze, but apparently there was a baby huntsman spider, okay. which is probably what they showed up there, and Ooh. everyone up there was like, oh, come on, it's just a baby. No. Just a baby spider. No. Congrats, you are getting Oscar buzz for Cosway. I mean, you got a lot going on. It's a lot, yeah. It's, it's, it's really wonderful to hear this praise for this movie. It was yeah. a labor of love. Working with Jennifer Lawrence was really amazing and Lila Nugabar, our director. Uh, so the praise is really humbling and it's really cool because it comes from your peers, yes. you know? It, it feels like it's coming from people who um, finally see me, uh, and it feels so great to be seen, you know, like, it's, it's, it's so, being seen by the people that I'm being seen by is just great. There was a, a article that came out that kind of, like, floored me at the Washington Post where they called me your favorite actor's favorite actor. Mm. And I was like, oh, well, I can... Die. That's amazing. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that That's alone a... is like I won, so, exactly. like, yeah, it's like... I don't know. I mean, like, the awards are cool and they're great and everything, but I think it's just, you know, I love what I do. I, yes. I love these characters that I get to play. It shows. Yeah. It so, shows. Yeah. Can you, you. Can you tell everyone what Causeway is about? Yes, Causeway is uh, a movie about uh, this young woman named Lindsay who was uh, in the war in Afghanistan and she suffers a brain injury and has to go back home to rehabilitate. Uh, but she hasn't been home for quite a long time, so you're watching her go through this journey of trying to figure out how to deal with loss and grief and guilt. And she meets my character, who is also dealing with his own loss and grief and guilt. And they realize that they can create a connection through that and also get on the other side of what that means and find a place in each other to find friendship, connection, and home. And I think that it's a story that really helped me because, um, you know, 
Holidays are hard, uh, you know, because I, I'm sure most of us in here have dealt with the loss of some sort, or you know, all of us are carrying grief in some way. Yes. And um, I think that this movie hopefully will give everyone who watches it a chance to feel like they can lighten that load a little bit, lay that grief down, and feel seen uh, in their grief. Um, and that's what we wanted with this movie. That's beautiful. Yeah. I'm sure it's definitely healing to people. Yeah, I hope so. You have lost. Okay. Very beautiful. And you filmed in New Orleans. How was that? New Orleans is unlike any city. Yeah, yeah a color. <laughs> if New Orleans were a sound, that's it. That's the sound. That's the sound. <laughs> it, it was one of the most magical, amazing, spiritual places I've ever been. Um, for a city that has endured so much, yes. um, has lost so much, but also has the tenacity of a thousand cities, mm -hmm. knows how to rebuild itself. Um, and it was great. Uh, but we were filming in the summer yeah. in New Orleans, <laughs> just to be very clear. Uh, so it was hot. It was really hot. Uh, yeah. Very, hu not even just hot, humid. Humid. You know, so it, like I, I compare the humidity to, in New Orleans to like the icing of a cake. Like, it sits on you like icing, and it's like, all right, well, <laughs> like, but it's still, you know, it's all good. And I'm, I'm a heater. I'm a human heater. Like, I sweat when I inhale. See, I'm not, so, like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm always hot. So I was like, ah, oh, this is, this is cool. See, I love the heat. I heard that you like the heat, Jay. Oh. <laughs> I heard that you, so you, That's you... my type of weather. No, I'm a, I love you. I love... Oh, baby, I love some heat. I... Ah, <laughs> uh, we ain't gonna be able to sit in the heat and together. I'm but like, we can run from some spiders together. It, yeah, I, it, it was, uh, the heat was, it, and it's interesting because my co-star, Jennifer Lawrence, is the same way. She, yes. she runs very cold. So in this scene that you see, uh -huh. this pool is 98.6 degrees, which is the temperature of that the human me. body. And it was 102 degrees outside. So I'm acting in soup. And so <laughs> I was like, so, I'm so there's a scene where I jump in and you see me pretending to be cold. I think that's the best acting I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. The heat must be a Jennifer thing. <laughs> I feel it you, Jennifer. It must be a Jennifer thing. Because I would have had it at 98, too. It must be a Jennifer thing. <laughs> that's right, yeah. <laughs> it must be. Don't forget to subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you're the first to see our latest videos.